Hello. In this video, I'll show you how to dilate some triangles that are not on graphs, not on coordinate grids. And all we need to do this is just pencil and paper. And first of all, a dilation is a transformation that will change the size of your image. So these triangles are going to change size, which is unlike the other transformations that uh, you've probably studied, like reflections, rotations, and translations, where in those types of transformations, the size does not change. Here, for dilations, the size will change. It will either grow or shrink, depending on what the scale factor is. When the scale factor is greater than one, the object will be growing. When the scale factor is less than one, the object will be shrinking. So the first thing you do is you have to know where your center of the dilation is. And in this case, it's these two dots that are on the paper. So this will be the center of the dilation for this one here. And the first thing you do is you take your paper and draw lines from that center of the dilation using your ruler through each of the vertices of your triangle, or whatever shape it is that you are dilating. So I'll draw lines through each vertex. Now the next thing we do is we want to know how far are each of these points from that center of the dilation. So I will get out my ruler, try to measure this carefully. If you measure very carefully, it should work out perfectly. And this one appears to be about, let's call it 5.2 centimeters. This point up here is, I'll stand up to get a better view here to make sure this is accurate. I would say that appears to be I'll call that 3.2 centimeters. And this last point down here, this one is a distance from that center of dilation. The distance appears to be, let's just call it 6.0 centimeters. 6.0 centimeters. So now what I want to do is I want to take those distances and I'm going to multiply them by the scale factor. So if the first distance here, if this point was originally 5.2 centimeters away, now I'm going to multiply that 5.2 times 2 and I'll get 10.4. So the new location of that point will be 10.4 centimeters away from the center of the dilation. So there's 0, there's 10, 10.4 is right about there. That's 10.4 centimeters. Take this point. This point was 3.2 centimeters away from the center. Now we're going to multiply, multiply that by 2. 3.2 times 2 is 6.4. So let's go there. 6, 6.4 is right there. 6.4 centimeters. And the last one was originally 6 centimeters away from the center of the dilation. Now it is 12, because 6 times 2 is 12. The last thing to do is simply connect them with lines. And we've got our new triangle dilated with a scale factor of 2. All of the distances in the new triangle are twice the distance of the original triangle from this center of the dilation. Another interesting thing is on these dilations, not only are the distances twice, but the lengths of the sides are going to be twice the length. Up here, this bottom edge of the triangle looks like it is 4.0 centimeters long. Well, this edge down here should be twice that. 4 times 2 should be 8. Let's check. When I measure it, sure enough, this one is 8.0 centimeters long. So the distance doubled. How am I going to do this one over here? Same way. Step 1, 
draw lines from the center of the dilation through each of the vertices. Step two, measure the distances from that point back to the center. That one looks like it is, we'll call that one 9.9 .9 centimeters. This one appears to be 12.9 centimeters. And this one appears to be 10.2 centimeters from the center of dilation. Step three, multiply those distances by your scale factor. In this case, the scale factor is 0.25. It's less than one, so I know that those distances are going to shrink. So let's try this. Let's do 9.9 times the scale factor, 0.25, equals, basically to the nearest tenth, it's 2.5. So let's measure 2.5 centimeters up that line, and it's going to put me right there is 2.5 centimeters. Let's do 12.9 times our scale factor. So 12.9 times 0.25 equals 3.2. 3.2 puts me right there. 3.2 centimeters. And the last one is 10.2 centimeters away. Let's multiply that distance, 10.2 times our scale factor of 0.25 equals 0.55. I'm sorry, 2.55. So let's measure 2.55 centimeters away. There's 2, 2.5, 2.6 if we round. And finally, we can just connect these with lines and we have a triangle that has been dilated by this scale factor. It is one quarter the length. All the lengths are one quarter the length of the original. We can verify that if we'd like. If we measure in centimeters the length of this side, looks like it is going to be about 6.7. This side length is 6.7 centimeters. The side down here should be a quarter of that. So let's try 6.7 times 0.25 equals 1.7 essentially. And when I measure it, it is 1.7. So in these dilations, you just need a ruler and a calculator and you measure the distances of each point from the center of the dilation, you multiply those distances by the scale factor, you plot those new distances on the lines, connect them, and you've got your new shape. And hopefully that makes sense.